What is up, my friend? Happy Tuesday. How are you? All right. So I have been thinking about something that's been um, really showing up for me and for a lot of our clients. And I just wanted to share with you guys. It's one of those things that I'm like, somebody here needs to hear this. So the, the title of the video is what you focus on expands, right? Hi, Shannon. Give me a hello when you guys jump on. So you know, we hear that a lot, or maybe you don't, but in our world, we say that a lot, like what you focus on expands. But I want you to think about you, you probably we often focus on things that we don't want to be focused on. Okay, so we did we did a ditch your hi Jill, we did a ditch your uh, ditch your diet workshop last week, right. And so the whole point of this workshop is to, to really help people understand like when you focus on dieting, and you focus on weight loss, what you're going to get more of is dieting and weight loss, right. And so often we focus on what we don't want, right? So if you're struggling with money, you focus on the fact that you don't have money. If you're struggling with weight, you focus on the fact that like you want to lose weight, right? But what happens, you guys, is we get in this energy of calling in more of what we don't want, right? And so what I want you guys to think about is you're trying to make shifts in your life and we have, we have people enrolling for our program, which is awesome. We're doing a 90 day transformation, but we have a lot of people that are like, I don't know if this can really be the thing, right? Like we're so addicted to the how, because that's what we've been taught to focus on. You got to do this diet. You got to do that thing. You got to do this. You got to do that if you want your life to change. But I'm here to tell you that it's the energy of shifting, not the how that makes the difference, right? And so, so if you guys did this workshop and you're, and you're hearing this, there's a reason you're supposed to hear it. But what you focus on expands, right? So if you focus on things that you don't desire, you're going to get more of what you don't desire, right? Or if you focus on what you desire, have a vision. If you focus on, I have this happy, healthy, amazing life, you're going to get a happy, healthy, amazing life, right? But the hardest part is that we have to learn how to let go of the how, right? Because that was my story, you guys, when it came to food in my body. It was like, I just need somebody to tell me, what are my macros? How do I do this? What's the magic pill? How can I do this thing? How many hours do I need to fast? What are the things, right? All of those things. But it was none of that. What it was, it was that I had to come from the focused energy of being happy and loving my body and coming from a place where I got to love myself. Because I'm telling you guys that once you, you focus on what you desire, if you want to feel better in your body, focus on feeling better in your body. Focus on appreciating your body. Focus on loving your body. If you want to always be fighting your body and continue to diet, keep focusing on dieting, right? And, and I just want you guys to understand that so often we focus on things we don't desire because we think we have to. We think we have to figure out the how, but it's not the how. It's the belief. It's the underlying belief, right? We teach something called BitFar. We're going to do a live video actually on this um, inside of our group in a little while, but... But the idea is there's beliefs, thoughts, feelings, um, result, actions, and results, right? And so most people, they're like, I want to make a shift in my life. I want to make more money. I want to lose weight, whatever, right? And so like, I'm going to take the action. So I think the action is I'm going to do my macros. I'm going to count my calories. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do all these things. So they do that for a shorter period of time, right? And then it doesn't work the way they think that it's going to. And then what happens? They stop and they think it's self-sabotage. It's not self-sabotage. It's not willpower. It's not any of those things. But what it is, is that you have thoughts and feelings that have been ingrained in you for a very long time. And if you don't understand and you don't look at those thoughts and those feelings and what the underlying belief is, it's never going to change. You can take all of the perfect actions. You could have the perfect diet. You can work out a million hours a day. But until you start to understand what are you thinking about food? What are you thinking about your body? What are the feelings associated with it? Where like where did these emotions that connected to food? Where did they come from? Until we start to look at that stuff and we look at that underlying belief, right? We asked our first group of shifters, like how many diets did you guys do? And how many times did you actually think it was going to work? And 99% of them were like, I never thought it was going to work. Well, you know why it didn't work? You didn't think it was going to work, right? And so it's looking at how do you think outside of the box and how do you focus on what you desire, right? If you desire a happy, healthy body, focus on a happy, healthy body. Don't focus on a body that you desire to lose weight because that's all you're going to get. So I just want you guys to understand that like you've got to understand your thoughts and your feelings because they're happening all the time in your head right now. You're having them. Every thought you have gives you a feeling, right? Like, oh, this, I've been told this, I've been told that, I've been told all these things. Carbs are bad. Sugar is bad. Sleep is bad. Exercise is good. Whatever it is. But those all bring up feelings, right? And so when we, we can take action and, and we, we want you guys to take action, but it's letting go of the how and it's taking action and it's looking inside because all of the answers inside of you, right? So if you want to change your body, you want to change your relationship with food, you want to change where you are in life, you've got to look at your thoughts and your feelings and the underlying belief. And when you look at that and you have someone that can hold space for you and show you where those beliefs are, everything starts to change. And so I just, I wanted to share that because I just, I see so many people spinning right now and they're just like, 
I, I, I love what you guys said. Like we taught our epic formula, which is education, purpose, intention, and creation. That sounds nothing like dieting. That sounds nothing like protein, carbs, and fats, right? And they're like, gosh, I believe you and I know this is true and I want diet freedom, but how can this be the thing? How can this possibly be a thing? Because it's not what I've been told, right? Because what's happening right now is your belief of what you need to do to shift your body and to shift your health is stuck in these other thoughts and feelings that you've been told, right? So I want you guys to understand that if you're in that place and you're like, I really want to believe you guys, and I really want to believe this is the thing, but I just don't think I can, you've got to look at what are the thoughts and feelings wrapped around food and dieting and losing weight and what you believe to be true, right? And what's that underlying belief? And do you believe that you get to be the happiest, healthiest version of you? So I just wanted to share that because I remember it. I mean, when I started my program, I was like, yeah, but it's really just about food in my body, right? You guys, I invested $12,000 in 10 months of my life, still thinking that it was just about food in my body. But if you want to know why I did that, it's because my why, which is purpose, which is the P that we teach, is because I didn't understand why I felt the way I felt. And I had two little girls sitting in the bathtub as I was listening to this podcast and I was crying and I was like, I can't pass it on to them. So you've got to understand your why. Why do you, be ha- why do you want to be happy and healthy? Why do you want to change your life? Why do, you, like, why do you want to do these things? Because when you do that, you can put your faith in something that doesn't completely make sense and understand that when you give energy to healing and to shifting and to changing, then everything changes. So I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday. And if you're inside the Ditch Your Diet workshop, uh, we're going to be live. Jen and I are going to go live at 1130. Um, if you're not and you're like, what's this thing you're talking about, Courtney? How did I miss this? Let me know. I'll get you inside of the group. We're going to leave those videos up for a couple days. Um, but we really dive into exactly why the diet industry fails you, why it's not working, what you actually need to do to shift. And you guys, in 90 days from now, your whole life could be different. You'll be happier. You'll be healthier. You'll forget that you even thought that you needed to change your body because everything else will change. So let me know if you guys have questions. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.